Well, boys and girls, it's already the last day of VBS. And we have followed Joseph through all of his troubles until he came to his victory yesterday when he was made the second ruler of the land. And now we're in Genesis chapter 42 because we are two years into the famine. The seven years of plenty have passed and Joseph collected food during all those seven years. And he stored it in the cities in, in Egypt. But now we're two years into the famine. And when Jacob learned that there was grain for sale in Egypt, he said to his sons, why do you look at one another? And he said, behold, I have heard that there is grain for sale in Egypt. Go down and buy grain for us there that we may live and not die. So 10 of Joseph's brothers went down to buy grain in Egypt. But Jacob did not send Benjamin, Joseph's brother, with his brothers, for he feared that harm might happen to him. Thus the sons of Israel came to buy among the others who came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. Now Joseph was governor over the land. And so, who was it that his brothers had to go and see to get grain? Well, they had to go to Joseph. And they had to bow down before Joseph. But they didn't know it was Joseph. Because Joseph was using an interpreter. He was speaking in Egyptian and the brothers didn't know that he could understand what they were saying. And so I imagine that as Joseph was watching his brothers, he knew who they were. They didn't know who he was, but he knew who they were. As he was watching his brothers bow down to him, he probably remembered the dreams that he had had back before they sold him into Egypt about the, the sheaves of wheat bowing down to his sheaf of wheat and about the stars and the sun and the moon bowing down before him. I imagine he remembered those things and he didn't know if he could trust his brothers yet. So when he spoke to them, he spoke through an interpreter and he spoke harshly to them. He said, you're spies. You've come to seek out the land. You've come to see how bad we are. And uh, they said, no, we're not spies. We're not spies. We're, we're brothers. We come from the land of Canaan. Our father sent us. We were 12 brothers. And one is with his father, and one is not anymore. And Joseph said, no, I think you're spies. And he threw them all in prison. And then he brought them back out again after a few days. And he said, if you want to prove that you're not spies, then go and get your younger brother the one who said was at home, and bring him with you, and then I'll know that you're not spies. But I'm going to hold one of you as a prisoner in the meantime. And so he took Simeon, and he put him back in prison, and he sent the other nine brothers home. He's testing them to see what they're going to do. Well, after they left... They came to a place where they were stopping and they were going to feed their animals that they'd brought with them. And they opened up their sacks and they found their money in the top of their sacks. The money, the money that they had paid for the food. It was all there. And they said, how did that happen? We know we gave them the money. How did it get back in our sacks with our green? 
And they were frightened because of the money that was in their sacks. But Joseph had told his steward to put all their money back in their sacks before they left. And so the, ten, the nine brothers went home back to Jacob and told him about this man who was in charge, the governor of the land who was so rough with them and thought they were spies. And they told him that he said they had to bring back their youngest brother if they were going to see his face again. Well, Jacob didn't want to do that. He didn't want to send his youngest son, Benjamin, with them. And um, he was afraid something would happen to him. And, but after a while, they ran out of food. And so he said, you have to go back. And they said, we can't go back unless we take our youngest brother with us. He said, we wouldn't be able to see him or, or buy any grain if we didn't go back. And so they, Jacob finally agreed to send them with the brother Benjamin because Judah stood up and said, I will be surety for Benjamin. If he doesn't return with us, then you can hold me to blame. You can make me your servant, whatever you want to do. And so Jacob finally agreed to send Benjamin back with them. And so they came back, and again, they bowed down before Joseph. But this time, Benjamin was with them. <coughs> and so Joseph said, bring them to my house. And we're going to fix a meal for them. And they came to his house, and they, and they spoke to the steward. And they said, when we, went, when we went home last time, we found our money in our sacks. And we brought it back with us because we don't know how it got in our sacks. And the steward said, um, I had your money. Um, you, you don't need to be afraid. Your God has given you this treasure. And so they came to Joseph's house in order to have a meal with him. And uh, they all sat at one table, and Joseph sat at another table, and his Egyptians sat at another table. And Joseph told them how to seat told the Egyptians how to seat his brothers. And he seated them from oldest to youngest. And his brothers were looking around like, how did he know? How did, he, how did they know how, how we're supposed to be in order? <clears throat> but they didn't, didn't figure it out yet. And um, Joseph sent portions to all of his brothers from his table and he sent more portions to Benjamin, the youngest, because he was his real full brother. And then um, he told his steward to put their money back in their sacks, but also he told them, him to put his silver cup in the youngest one's sack. And so the brothers didn't know what was going to happen, see. And uh, so all of their money was found back in their sacks with their full grain and in Benjamin's sack was the silver cup. Well, <clears throat> so the, his brothers left And then Joseph sent the steward after them and said, why have you stolen my silver cup? And the brothers were all, why would we steal your silver cup? We brought back our money that we, we had found in our sacks and 
we wouldn't steal your silver cup. And so they all got their bags down and they said, whoever stole the, whoever's bag you find it in, let him be killed and we'll all be, their, we'll all be your servants. And Joseph said, no. Only the one who had my silver cup in his bag, he's the only one that will stay. He will be my servant. The rest of you can go home to your father. Now, the brothers might have viewed this as a wonderful opportunity because, you see, they wanted to get rid of Joseph because he was their father's favorite. Now Benjamin's their father's favorite. Maybe they, maybe they think it's a perfect opportunity to get rid of Benjamin. But is that what's going to happen? You'll have to wait till the second story to find out. <laughs> 